so today on my day off work, I got to get a passport photo. I got to call British Airways because they cancelled a flight that I got next week. We'll get to that. Uh, I got to, well, I don't have to, but I want to go to Curry's and see if my laptop's worth anything because I want to get a new laptop. And if I can trade this in for a good price, I'll get money off the other laptop. So I have to check on that. And Curry's is near the cinema I go to and I want to go see The Northman, which seems like a cool movie. So yeah, uh, The Northman's in two hours or five hours if I wait to 8.45 p.m. Maybe I should try and get everything done before I go to the cinema. But I need to call British Airways as well, it is tricky. Let me go get a passport photo and then we'll see. I'm going on a couple holidays this year, more than a couple actually. Uh, a few very cheap ones and uh, one in, one big one in August. I'm going to Australia. I won't spoil the rest, but I'm going to Australia in August. And one of the cheapest ways to go is through the US, through transit. So I don't want to be stuck in an airport for hours. So basically I applied for a US visa to visit their country for a few hours. To do that, you have got to go to the US Embassy to have a one-on-one -on -one interview. So to fill in some big form with like 25 pages. And now the second phase is to go to interview one-on-one. -on -one. As you may ask you why you wanted to enter the country. Based on my flight times, like I'd be in the US maybe like three hours on the way there and the same on the way back. So I, I got to apply for a visa, which costs money to apply for in the first place, which is non-refundable, even if you get rejected. Got to apply for that visa. I filled in all the form. T took a while, because it didn't say at one point I'd start again. Now I got to do this one-on-one -on -one interview at the US Embassy in London, in central London. Um, and the requirements are you got to take a passport photo and a few other things, and also your passport, obviously. But yeah, you need a passport photo from the last six months. So the ones that I have from like a year ago, they don't count. So I bought six. I always wondered, like, I mean, I say I always wondered, but I went, I went there and they were like, it's a different price for non-UK passport photos. But why is that? Aren't they still all the same type of photo and the requirements all the same? So why does a non-UK passport photo cost different? Are there different requirements? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I got it. You know, good customer service, you know, they get it done. Like I say, I want a parcel photo. And they say, how many you want? This is the price. They're straightforward. Like it's literally on the wall. Um, and it's, it's a general photo shop. It's not just passport. There's just general like photo things, frames and stuff like that. Because there was like one other customer there and he was, he was there for something else anyway. So they just got me straight in, took the photos, took like three or four and then they made six <laughs> maths. Uh, and then... Uh, they said ready in five minutes and it was so you know that's great fast and efficient that's what i like to see anyway uh let me call british airways probably not going to record this but uh i'll tell you how it goes and then if i can get like i can cancel my whole flight and get a refund right now like bo both flights to a certain cheap place but i want to keep the morning flight and the, the flight i come back on that's what i want to cancel but i can't do that through the website i gotta do it through calling them but I can cancel the whole thing through the website. So I'm, I'm, my plan is to cancel that flight because they put me another, they put me on another flight, which was two hours earlier, and it just doesn't work for me because I'm going for an event to another country. I need the time to get back to the airport. And based on the flight time I got going home, I won't make it. So the plan is to cancel it and cancel just the flight back and get another airline. And there is another airline which is very cheap. Like we're talking 20 pounds cheap for a plane. So that is the plan. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> questions on your baggage they said they're rebooking me onto a one-way flight and then i can get a refund for the flight that was uh, cancelled after the flight is done after the flight there is done so yeah you'll find out where i'm going soon you'll find out where i'm going soon but uh, I, the other holidays i booked were not with british airways just one holiday i booked that was with british airways and uh, yeah they've had a lot of flights cancelled recently a lot of flights cancelled and i have uh seen the latest of that anyway yeah uh there we go um i'm going to oh i'm currently watching a video of sergio perez driving an f1 car in new york so that's <laughs> that, that that's pretty fun i'm not gonna make it to the cinema in time the movie starts in 10 minutes and i'm still at home so uh unless i have a private helicopter it's not gonna work <laughs> but yeah I'll, I'll be home quite late then um 
but yeah, I need to go. I want, I want to go to Curry's. I want to go to Curry's and see see what's up because I want to get a laptop at some point. And uh, yeah, th that is my day pretty much. I went to Asda the other day and I found a selection of baklava, which is a food that I found, discovered recently. Um, out of a box from Asda, it tastes all right. It tastes all right, but it's much better when it's fresh out of a baklava shop and there are some down the road. But, you know, uh, these ones are the best out of this box, that's for sure. <laughs> Trade-in value is only £90 if you want to get any laptop or to get a specific laptop, Dell XPS, 240 <laughs> So uh, that's where we're at right now. Their toilet is bigger than my bathroom. Had a very nice subway. This area is elite around the cinema. You got a Krispy Kreme with a, with a drive through a McDonald's with a drive through a KFC with a drive through and then you've got five guys at Pizza Hut. No drive throughs but you've got Nando's, Subway, and they all close late. Apart from McDonald's, they always open. It's, it, it's an elite place. There is the cinema. Still like 20 minutes to the movie. Seen a bucket deal with this KFC. Mini Phillips, 10 for six pounds. I'm very tempted. If I had seen that advert, I might have gone there instead of, instead of Subway. Missed opportunity there, I think. Missed opportunity. Subway cost me more. Six pounds for 10 mini fillets. Why did I not see an advert? <laughs> it's more food for less money. Disney World with a Starbucks, IMAX, 4DX. What more could you want? I am 15 minutes early to a late showing of The Northman. It's quite a long movie, so I'll be home by like midnight. This is why I should not wake up at 2 p.m. That way I can <laughs> do these things earlier in the day. But it's all good, it's my day off. I've got work tomorrow, but I start in the afternoon, so it's all good. I also had time to record a couple Ultraman reactions and a reaction video for the main channel as well, so not edited them yet though. So I need to, uh, I streamed a couple GeoGuessr live streams on Twitch, and I tend to edit those and put those onto YouTube on my, on this channel actually got like maybe eight episodes possibly so i need to edit those at some point and upload them here because uh <laughs> it's been way too long since i left that series uh, that was not the movie i expected review coming on my david of films channel and now do short reviews youtube shorts is a new thing well it's fairly it's, it's been around a little bit now but youtube shorts one minute videos portrait mode so I just use those for one minute review. I feel like my reviews are better when they're shorter anyway. Plus, you know, more, more people watch them. Um, got quite a lot of views on my host Sonic the Hedgehog 1 in 40X. So, uh, you know, it, it seems to work. It seems to work. I, I found my uh, my medium, I guess, for that. I feel like shorts were kind of introduced to kind of uh, compete with TikTok, basically. Because it's that kind of content in short form videos with a time limit. And you just make whatever you want. I guess TikTok is more like skit based and other things. You can do skits as well on YouTube as well. But I'm just saying like, it seems like with YouTube Shorts, they're kind of trying to, try, they're trying to compete with that. But anyway, um, I just thought to myself, you know, my reviews, my movie reviews, they don't really get watched that much. Not really my, they're probably my least viewed videos on my second channel. So I thought, hmm, maybe if they're shorter and they're shorts, they might get watched by more people and it might be better for me if I can just say my quick thoughts. That's what I use them for at the moment. I even like, I used I used a short to uh, unwrap my 4K Blu-ray for Spider-Man No Way Home. I did a sh short video, like 45 seconds, 1.3K views, which is pretty good for my second channel. So uh, yeah, th there's definitely uh, definitely an audience there. And because it's, um, cause it's like a TikTok sort of format, it plays on a loop, unless you pause it, of course, but it plays on a loop. So like, I assume that's probably why they get a lot of more views than normal videos anyway. But still, um, it's just a, it's, it's, it's a pretty good thing. It's a pretty good thing. And I feel like it's, it's good that it's, YouTube's got that sort of thing. So you can enjoy normal content and content like that. That's more like other platforms. But yeah, it's, it's whoever thought of it from YouTube. I, I think they had a good idea there. So uh, it's not perfect, but there's a lot of uh, good, funny content on there. But I use it for reviews. 
because you can. You can use it for anything. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it from me. Um, it's been an eventful day. It has just gone midnight, so I'm going to edit this, and I'll probably go to sleep. I might edit a few other things that I wanted to edit, but... Or I might sleep, because I, I am tired. I was falling asleep towards the last 10 minutes of that movie. I did stay up and watch all of it, but... <laughs> I was, I was going, I was going. Recently, I have uh, discovered Choco Leibniz. This is the white chocolate flavored one. I've been looking for this for a long time. I finally find it. Finally, sorry, I can't speak anymore. I finally found it. My favorite one is the orange one. And there's the original one, which is good as well. Not a fan of the dark chocolate one, but uh, I have found you, <laughs> finally. The collection is complete. This is the orange one. Bloody incredible, mate. Also, as usual, Plenty of water. Stay hydrated. I've also never tried Viennetta. Apparently it's a very nice thing. Um, if you want me to try it on this channel with a short video, this is a 30 second video of me trying this for the first time, let me know. My PS4 is no longer the loudest aircraft I ever heard. It is now my washing machine.